You're with Just Docs. I'm Andrew Scott speaking this morning with Leslie Chong from Imugene. Leslie, good to see you. Good morning. Hi, Andrew. Look, Leslie, 2024, what are the big plans? What are your priorities for Imugene? Well, so our priorities are uh, Azer cell, our allogeneic CAR T, and then also our oncolytic viral therapy. It's sort of a gift that keeps on giving. And today um, is a cholangiocarcinoma day here in Australia. And what a coincidence that in our study that we call OASIS with our oncolytics program, we have dosed in the intravenous arm a cholangiocarcinoma or a bile tract cancer patient. So it's sort of a coincidence. It was sort of meant to be. Um, and uh, we'll be closely watching all our patients on that study. And this is a bit of a, a world first, the study, Leslie. Absolutely. So this is a product. So I just remind the audience, um, we have a cholangiocarcinoma patient on our other oncolytic program that's called MAS, that's metastatic advanced solid tumor study. So we have a bile duct cancer patient on there that has been in a complete remission for over a year and a half on our own on our oncolytic viral therapy. So that's quite exciting. We will be collaborating with the Colangio Foundation of Australia and as well as the US to really expand on that. So we'll have an expansion coming up in that study, but to have our oncolytics program. So this is an oncolytic virus that expresses a protein called CD19, and then it will be combined with blimotumumab, which is a bispecific product that is marketed by Amgen. So it's a combination strategy to cover a solid tumor into one target. So there's nothing like it anywhere. It is a world first, it is revolutionary, and we have a cholangio patient on there. And Leslie, tell us a bit more about the oncolytic space. It's an area that's really hotting up at the moment. So oncolytic viruses are making a statement this year um, in that there's a company called CG Therapeutics that IPO'd on NASDAQ and they raised 430 million. It's one of the highest raises, which sort of indicates to the market that the biotech is coming back. We sort of had a, a little bit of a, of a slum as it were uh, in the last few years, but I think 2024 is gonna be um, a key year for biotech. Well, just while we're talking numbers, Leslie, how much funding runway does Imugen have currently? Well, we're one of the fortunate ones that have, um, well, we just announced that we have 139 million um, in the bank, 139.4 million. We have yet to have received our R&D rebate, so that'll add another um, top up to that. So we're well funded to, um, to progress all our programs. And what are the upcoming milestones, Leslie, as far as some of these other programs? So we have the mass study with uh, the expansion into cholangio or bile duct cancers. We have oncarlytics, which is, uh, is still in the startup process. We have um, sites that are, are being initiated as we speak, like MD Anderson. So all these sites will come up and then add to the to the uh, the enrollment. We have Azer cell that is in a confirmation setting for allogeneic CAR T in our blood cancer types. So that's all just ramping up 2024. You've got news from oncolytics programs, our Azer cell programs. So we're pretty full, uh, yeah, on deck. Good to have you on Just Docs this morning, Leslie. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much for having me.